Throughout one's life, new neurons are constantly being generated in the brain's hippocampus. They're essential to the formation of memories. However, researchers have theorized that this continuous integration of neurons might also rearrange connections in the brain and destabilize some memories that were already there, causing one to forget them. Now, Catherine Akers and colleagues show that this does indeed happen in mice, guinea pigs, and little rodents called dagoos. The researchers used mild electric shocks to train mice to fear a particular environment. They then gave some of those mice access to running wheels, since running has been shown to increase neurogenesis, or the generation of new neurons. Later, when the mice were returned to the environment that they were trained to fear, Akers and the other researchers found that the mice that had running wheels had largely forgotten their fears, while the mice without running wheels seemed to remember the electric shocks very well. The phenomenon appeared similar to infantile amnesia, or the inability of adults to recall memories from their early childhood, so the researchers used drugs to slow down the rate of neurogenesis in infant mice when the rodents are normally producing high levels of neurons, and they found that those infant mice were better able to retain memories. Finally, the researchers tested the effects of neurogenesis on guinea pigs and dagoos, which are born with most of their neurons intact and don't experience as much neurogenesis as infants. Akers and her colleagues discovered that these species did not forget their fears as quickly as mice when they were infants. But when the researchers gave the infant guinea pigs and dagoos a drug to stimulate neurogenesis, those rodents became stricken with infantile amnesia and began forgetting their fears too. Taken together, the researchers' findings hint at the underlying mechanisms of this phenomenon of infantile amnesia.